name is Susan Talone, and I'm the clinical director for the Society for the Prevention of Teen Suicide. And this morning, I wanted to talk to you about helplessness versus hopefulness. I've been hearing a lot of my colleagues, uh, friends, students, and even some spiritual leaders talk about a sense of helplessness because we can't reach out and get to people, bring joy and comfort to people in the ways that we're used to. And it's leaving a lot of people feeling helpless. And it started uh, making me think about what is helplessness versus hopefulness? And how do you instill hope? How do you move away from a sense of helplessness to hope? How do you move away from a sense of fear and anxiety to a place of strength? And what really is hope? And it struck me that, you know, hope isn't wishful thinking. It's actually a, a way of thinking. It's about perspective, putting on a different lens and looking at things in a more positive way. It's really about self-talk, what we say to ourselves, and really about cognitive restructuring and how we structure our, our thoughts and, and how we hear ourselves think. In youth council, I talk to the kids a lot about the wellness wheel, and I talk about living a healthy, balanced life, body, mind, and spirit. And hope really is bringing those three components together in a more healthy, balanced way. So I'm thinking about, you know, how do you talk to yourself? And I want to give you some examples of what changing your perspective could look like. Very slight differences. You could say, I should be coping better. Something's wrong with me. I'm not handling things well. And that can leave you feeling helpless. Or you could change that dialogue a little bit and say something like, talking to a friend or mentor or counselor might make me feel better, might make me feel more hopeful. Uh, or people are struggling all over the world. It's not just me. I'm handling it and we're handling it the best we can. It just lends itself to a little bit more positive energy. So it's really about changing your inner dialogue away from fear and anxiety more towards wellness and strength. I'm always inspired by poets and this week uh, Maya Angelou, who is one of my favorites, inspired me as I looked towards her for feelings of hope. She states, Hope and fear cannot occupy the same space at the same time. Invite one to say. I say, invite hope. Reach out, connect with someone, and lend them your hope. Thanks for listening. See you next Sunday.